Joe and his wife Maria have decided to buy a manufactured home. They're really sick of renting and excited to start building some equity for their future. Yet they're nervous. The biggest purchase they've ever made is when they bought Joe's truck. And since they don't have that much cash saved up, they're going to have to finance part of the purchase. Financing lets Joe and Maria pay a little bit of money now and then pay the rest of it later, over time. The part they have to pay now is called a down payment. The part they have to pay later is called the unpaid balance. It's the difference between the purchase price and what they gave as a down payment. The finance company lets them pay a small amount every month. That's called the monthly payment. But the finance company doesn't do this for free. They charge Joe and Maria some money. That's called a finance charge and is the amount that Joe and Maria have to pay extra over the purchase price in order to be able to make monthly payments. The finance charge is usually a percentage of the unpaid balance. Joe and Maria have heard that sometimes finance charges can really add up and increase the total amount that you have to pay. They don't want to pay that much and want to know how they can save money on their overall purchase and pay the balance owed faster. One day, Joe and Maria are at a barbecue and their friend Louis is there. He's an accountant and he tells them that finance charges are based on the unpaid balance. So the faster they pay off the balance, the lower the finance charges are going to be. This means that as the balance gets lower, so do the finance charges or interest. Interest is the part of your monthly payment that goes to the finance charge. So part of your payment goes to pay the balance you owe on the house that's called principal. The other part of your payment goes to the finance company in the form of interest. If Joe and Maria make all their payments for the same amount and on time, it would look like this graph. While the scheduled monthly payment stays the same, the amount that goes to principal and the amount that goes to interest charges change over time. In the beginning, they actually pay the finance company more money in interest than they do on the principal balance owed on the home they just bought. Lewis points out that as the balance goes down, the amount applied to principal goes up. He then tells Joe and Maria to keep calm because they are actually in charge of how much they pay in total interest. How can that be, Joe and Maria ask? Well, Lewis says, when you pay your payment on or before the day it's due and add a little more to each monthly payment, Plus, every time you have some extra cash, use it to pay down the balance. Pretty soon, two things happen. The amount you pay in total finance charges is reduced because the unpaid balance is reduced and finance charges are based on that. And when you do that, it takes you less time to pay off the balance. In this scenario, just $100 extra a month helps Joe and Maria pay off their house 15 months faster. Of course, Lewis says, the opposite is true too. If you miss a payment or if the payment is late, the amount you'll pay in finance charges increases and it will take you longer to pay off the balance. Because when you're late or miss payments, interest starts piling up. And remember, because payments go to pay interest first, if you continue to pay late or miss payments, the payments are only going towards the interest owed and you could have a hard time getting caught up. Lewis tells Joe and Maria that one or two missed or late payments aren't that big a deal, but if it keeps happening, they could possibly lose their home and all the money they've paid. Joe and Maria tell Lewis that they're interested in buying a home from creative home buyers. They're a locally owned business with strong ties to the community. They want to help families buy a home and pay it off as fast as possible. The next day, Joe and Maria meet to talk about their purchase with a creative home buyer's advisor. Their advisor walks them through the entire home buying process, from finding the perfect place to explaining how the financing works. They let them know that while creative home buyers can finance their home purchase if they qualify, they should also shop around to see what programs other finance companies have that they might qualify for. 
They also discuss that if they decide to finance their purchase with creative home buyers, if they ever have trouble making payments, all they need to do is call or stop by the office and the creative home buyers team will do what they can to help them through the tough spot. Fast forward six months. Joe and Maria are having a barbecue in their new home. Lewis comes, as does their friends from Creative Home Buyers. They all toast to Joe and Maria's new home and to Creative Home Buyers who help make it all possible. So remember, if you want to save money and pay off the balance owed faster, pay early or at least on time, pay extra each month whenever you can, and communicate with the finance company if you're having trouble paying. Won't it feel great to know your hard work has paid off when you've paid off your home and have the title in your hands just like other satisfied Creative Home Buyers customers have done.